La Liga kicks off tomorrow, no surprise. Barcelona favourites to once again retain the title 4 to 7 on. Uh, maybe a surprise that Real Madrid are the second favourites, and there's such a massive gap then to Atletico Madrid. That looks like a brilliant bet uh, for Simeone's side. Uh, let's first, though, focus on Barcelona who kick things off tomorrow against Athletic Bilbao. Lionel Messi not announced in today's squad that is travelling to the Basque country. So it looks like it'll be Dembele, Suarez, and Griezmann up top. Um, they should be fine. Well, they should be fine, shouldn't they? Yeah, I mean, it's it's. Do you want to play against that for that three? No, not really. So yes, Messi's not playing, but I mean, I, I would I would suggest this will be a lot easier than, than actually would, a lot of people would suggest. Should be. I mean, if, if that front three are, are half as good as as we know they can be or normally are, yes, I, I think they get the win quite easily. But we've. We've seen the worst of Luis Suarez at, at different periods over the last 12 months. Dembele can be a little bit inconsistent. But even then, I, I still think you're, you're grabbing at straws. I still, I still think it's a little strange that, that, that Busquets and Rakitic have come in for so much criticism in the off-season. I mean, at the end of the day, they, th those two would probably walk into, oh, what, 80-90% yeah. of the other teams? Yeah. And, uh, so, nah. And then you add De Jong to that. Yeah. The six going forward for me, absolutely. It's, this, this, will, uh, this will be a victory. As much as you can disregard pre-season form, it's difficult, difficult not to appreciate what Jarrell Felix has done. Five games, three goals, four assists. Uh, that's a goal or assist every 36 minutes. It is just the perfect start, isn't it? For a youngster who you've paid a lot of money on, who's come in to replace Antoine Griezmann, you do this and, and set a record for Atleti in doing so. It's impressive, isn't it? I think it's important that they start this first game the way they've gone about pre-season. My worry with Jao Felix before the before the ball was kicked was that, you know, the way we thought Atleti were going to play, is he going to get enough of the ball to show us what he can do? I'll tell you what, <laughs> he's had more of the ball yep. than, than maybe, maybe had in Portugal. So, and he's shown exactly what he can do. So I'm hoping that they go about their business the way they have done the whole pre-season. And that is going forward and creating chances because they've created and scored a lot of goals. Getafe is, a, is their opponent at the weekend. Something fun, isn't it? Like, from being a football fan, we saw it when Mbappe was coming up. Yeah. Someone like Jao Felix, who you just want to watch play. It's just yeah. enjoyable to watch. He really has been outstanding this, this pre-season. And I have to admit, I also had my concerns with, with Jao Felix coming in to, to Atletico Madrid. You just wondered if... Physically, it was going to be too much of a test for him, um, given, given how Atleti normally play. But he slotted in seamlessly, has been exciting to watch uh, all preseason long. You, you see it continuing. It looks a new Atletico Madrid. Um, yeah, I, I, I see them as, as the biggest threat to Barcelona at top of La Liga. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.